hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and if you are new here please i request that you may support my youtube channel by subscribing clicking the notification bell giving me a thumb up commenting and sharing and i will be very grateful for your support for my returning subscribers i am so appreciative and grateful for your support and for all of you i want to uh, thank you for supporting this channel it is really growing and i am appreciating for every support that you have given me so far so please guys today i have a new uh, recipe a simple way to make a dry fry meat and for that i would request you stay tuned till the end of the video yeah and in today's video i'm using um uh, goat meat and uh, that is a uh, this meat uh just to give a brief of what i did behind the camera I marinated my meat using garlic powder, uh, ginger powder, uh, turmeric powder. Uh, I put some some chili red. Uh, that is a chili powder, and I also put milk in it, and then some just a little salt, very little salt, and lemon juice, uh, half lemon juice. And then I, I, I put fresh milk, uh, like uh, 200 ml, uh, but this will depend with the quantity of your meat, depending with the people you are cooking for. And now after that, I mix it very well and I store this meat in the fridge while covered with a paper for around 30 minutes so that this meat can absorb the the, the 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 spices that i had put in it and also uh so that this milk this fresh meat can be absorbed by this meat then after that now this is when i have taken my meat from the fridge and now i have drained the excess milk from the from the meat and now it is ready for to start cooking for you, you prepare your pan just as usual. Make sure you have butter with you. Just a little, um, maybe one tablespoon of, of butter and two tablespoon of the big spoons, not tablespoon, the big spoon, uh, maybe two, two spoons of, of uh, cooking oil. For me, uh, uh, to me, uh, canola oil, so you can decide to use any of your choice. Warm the, the, your pan, and then when the butter is already, has already melted, now you put your, your, your meat in the pan. Yeah, and make sure that in this case, I always insist uh, you put your, uh, your burner very low um so that because we are not going to be putting water into our meat so that this the the, the moisture that this meat had absor absor absorbed while in the fridge it doesn't dry up before the meat gets cooked so you have to put your heat very low very low very low the lowest heat in your burner and then you 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 cover your meat for like five minutes open uh mix uh try to stir your meat cover again and now we uh, we prepare the the other ingredients you need onion you need the uh, coriander you need garlic cloves like uh, four of them and also you need hoho you just prepare these ingredients while the meat is cooking slowly the heat must be very low na unaona nyama imetoa maji yake that is the reason why i refrigerated my meat kwa sababu wakati unaanza kuipika inatoa maji yake yenye ilikuwa imeabsorb 
so all the wetness that it had absorbed well in the absorbed well in the fridge now it comes out and this water that's, that's, that has drained from the meat is the one now that you are going to be using to cook your meat so after after that you had your onions into the pot you continue just following the steps just like I am doing because in this case I'm concentrating more on explaining actually what I was doing for the coriander you first cut the stems and then after you cut the stems you first put the stems into your meat and then leave the other part of the of the coriander for for garnishing so for, because and remember because I had already marinated my meat with spices in this case I'm not going to be adding more spices into my food for those who don't like too much spices I'm only going I have only put uh, garlic that is uh, the, 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 the fresh garlic and also onion and now the coriander stems only thing that I have put and maybe you can check with the salt if it is not enough the one that you had put uh, when well, you are refrigerating your meat, if it is not enough, you can try to add some to your taste. Yeah, and now I had the fresh uh, pepper, red pepper, whole like this. I'm not cutting them into small pieces because stucky uh, equal sana. I just want something that is not too chilly. Then I season my meat with the seasoning. Nimetumia magi seasoning and I put a little of soy sauce and now you can see the way this meat is coming out. Um, the water is draining away and the meat is already looking cooked and for sure this meat is already cooked because i am only waiting for the meat to turn in color because remember we refrigerated and we we soaked our meat in the milk with, with milk so this milk is going to be helping this meat to 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 to, to look like we, we we like we roasted the meat it achukua the color the brown color because of the milk that we the fresh milk that we we soaked our meat with and refrigerated so that is the most important part you have to soak your meat with the milk and refrigerate so that the meat can absorb this milk because this milk is going to make your meat look brownish in color like it will look like you roasted your meat but you just use the normal pan to cook your meat and here it is our meat is almost cooked and so far i hope my fans you are enjoying this recipe i want to thank you so far you the way you have stayed tuned until to this point and uh, if you have just coming please thank you and i request that you subscribe to my channel you support me and i appreciate every support that you are giving me like give me a thumb up uh, comment and then you can share to your um, to your friends and you can also um uh, ring the notification bell so that you get notified wherever I upload new video because in this week I will be giving you recipe every day I will I will give new recipe every day so please please click that notification bell so that you get the notification wherever I post every day recipe yeah into this channel the easiest the simplest the the cheapest what do I mean by cheapest? Yani, chakula too simple. No, akuna vitu mingi unaitajika kununua like a thousand, uh, a thousand ingredients. No, just simple and easy. And this is the channel to be in because everything is easy, easy, easy. And also simple to, to make. You see, our meat is cooked. Very delicious. Very dry. What we call dry, dry, dry uh, dry dry stew
you see dry fry not really stew dry fry dry fry dry fry this is what i mean dry fry you look it looks like we have roasted this meat but actually we have cooked it just the normal way but it turns out to be very delicious you see please share this recipe to your friends make this recipe for your family and come to the notification uh to the to the to the comment section and give me your feedback and for me i am serving my 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 dry fry with rice because our mimi i like rice more than ugali so but mostly i know you will say this one is good with the ugali yes you can you are free to serve your 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 dry fry with the kind of the, the kind of uh, uh food you want to serve with maybe atakama ni mukimo ikwe ni ugali rice anything and please guys so far so good i thank you for watching for subscribing for commenting for liking and continue staying tuned for many more simple and best recipes in this channel and please kama uja subscribe angalia tu hapo kuna subscription button click that subscription button subscribe and support my channel to grow and i will really be appreciative for every support that you give me and please guys i want to say goodbye till the next video bye bye